Welcome back to Franchise Football, everybody. I'm your host, Husker Eurocat, and today the Falcons once again are on the road. This time in Jerry World to face the Dallas Cowboys. Atlanta has braced itself for the duo of Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott. Although they aren't having the most productive of seasons, the Falcons have to be aware of where they are on the field at all times. Zeke is dangerous whether he's running the ball or catching it out of the backfield. Dak is as good throwing the ball as most of the quarterbacks in the league, but let him out of the pocket and that's where he can be a real problem. Whether he can extend the pass play or just run the ball, the Falcons have to be super aware of his abilities. The key for Atlanta's offense is going to be moving the ball down the field on a very talented defense. Will they be able to get it done? Let's find out as we take you to the action here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Tony Pollard is back deep in the end zone for the Cowboys. Youngway Koo gets us underway here in AT&T Stadium. Out to the 21 is about where Pollard gets to. First and 10. The ball is given to Zeke, and he is out to the 24. And there you see last week's numbers on him. Only 66 yards on the day. Obviously trying to put up better numbers today. Prescott over the middle, passes complete. Mari Cooper out past the 25. Brings up third and three, and the pass is complete. And a first down, Blake Jarwin on the reception. This time the pass over the middle to the 40 yard line. That was Cooper on the short pickup. Prescott again, passes complete to Dalton Schultz, but just shy of the sticks. That means that the Falcons will have their first opportunity. Up the middle goes Bryce Love, out past the 31 for a four yard gain. Ryan drops back, pass on the way, complete, no. Not complete to Andy Isabella. So third and six, Ryan back to pass again and finds Bryce Love for the first down out of the backfield. Now from the 39, the pass complete to Hurst and he's out past the 45. Last week's numbers are six receptions and 70 yards and a touchdown. On second and two, the ball is given to Puka Williams. He has the first down and into Dallas territory. Now Ryan drops back, lets it go, and completes this one to Hurst again. Ryan appreciating his tight ends in this game. Throws over the middle. This one is complete. Russell Gage has the first down just shy of the 30-yard line. Second and 10, Ryan back to pass, throws complete, Gage again down to the 15. Ryan making good use of his receivers so far in this ball game. Out of the eye, drop back, throw, catch, and that one is to Isabella inside the 10. So on second and four, the handoff goes to Love, Powers his way all the way to the one yard line. Out of the shotgun, Ryan throws and it's complete in the end zone. Andy Isabella, touchdown Falcons. You see on the replay, Anthony Brown just couldn't keep up with the speed of Isabella. And it was an easy slant pattern touchdown for the Falcons. Now, can the Cowboys respond to that touchdown? The ball given to Zeke, and he is snowed under in the backfield. Uh Uh-oh, Everson Griffin is being escorted to the locker room, and this does not look good. 
for the Falcons. He is an integral part of that defensive line and that is gonna be a tough one if he is out for any length of time. Now after a Falcon three and out, the Cowboys have the ball again inside the 20. Prescott completes this pass to Sean McKeon but he's short of the first down. So third and three and oh my goodness. Elliott is snowed under again in the backfield. Barkevius Mingo making the play. And now into the second quarter. Falcons give it off to Puka Williams, and he doesn't make it out of the backfield either. Rookie Micah Parsons gets to him. So in an empty backfield, Ryan throws complete. Out to Zacchaeus, and that is a first down inside Dallas territory. Oh, wow, what a nice block. Hawkins takes it down near the 40-yard line. And on third and one, pass. Goes to Gage Short at the 35 and a first down for the Falcons. Out of the shotgun, Ryan backing up. And finally getting rid of it. Oh, that one was so close to being intercepted. A shotgun again, the pad, another pass, and this one is incomplete. So that brings out Ku from 49 yards out, and it is good. So the Falcons take a two-score lead, 10 to nothing, on second and six. The give is to Elliott. Big yardage up the left side numbers and a first down past the 35 yard line. Out of the shotgun for Prescott. And he drops back, throws over the middle, complete to Cooper, and he has a first down at midfield for the Cowboys. He now has three catches for 24 yards. Back to pass again, Prescott, another strike. Cooper gets the first down and Prescott is eight of eight to start this football game. Elliott takes it inside the 35 to the 33, bringing up second and five and a catch out of the backfield to Elliott. He has a first down inside the 25. Now with the Falcons in a single high look, Prescott throws over the middle to McKeon. He takes it inside the 20 down to the 17. And Prescott is sacked. Zach Kerr gets in. And now it's third and eight. Prescott back to pass and throws a wobbler. Caught by Elliott, but well shy of the first down yard markers. Now fourth and seven. And on comes Zerline from 37 yards out and puts it through. So it's 10 to three, Falcons. Out of the shotgun, Ryan back to pass, throws and completes this one to Gage out of the 31. So on second and four, Allison takes it on the jet sweep and gets the first down out to the 36. That brings us to the two minute warning with the Falcons up by a touchdown. Now out of the shotgun, another pass over the middle, complete to Allison. And he gets out past the 40 yard line. Third and two, Love takes it for a big gain out the left side over the midfield marker. Finally tackled inside the 48. Isabella with the completion for another first down from the 37. Ryan alone in the backfield. Throws and it's out of bounds complete. First down for Tajay Sharp at the 25 yard line. Now Ryan throws complete again and out of bounds at the 20. Hurst now with three receptions for 19 yards. 
This pass goes downfield to Sharp and he's inside the 10. First and goal, Falcons. Ryan throws over the middle, complete. Gage to the one yard line. Ryan under center. And he's back to pass and he runs out of time. Randy Gregory gets him back at the nine yard line. And a time out by the Falcons. And they're gonna go for it on third and goal. They have got to get this ball into the end zone. Oh, Ryan throws it short and Bryce Love powers his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. Prescott with a look of disgust on the sideline. You see there on the replay, Love kind of runs over Micah Parsons and into the end zone. And that will end the first half 17 to three. The Falcons are leading here in Dallas. Now with a halftime update, let's go to Eurocat Baby. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Update. We'll get you back to AT&T Stadium in a moment. First, we have an update on the Everson Griffin injury. It seems that he tore the cartilage in his shoulder and will be out of action for the next four to five weeks. That means that Jacob, 2 OT Mariner, will see a lot more action as the temporary first string left in. In other action around the league, at FedEx Field, Washington is giving Tampa Bay all they can handle at the half. Tom Brady has thrown for 145 yards in the opening half, but hasn't managed to punch the ball in the end zone. In Indy, Carson Wentz has thrown three first-half touchdowns to put the Colts up by a score of 24-3 over the Jaguars. And in Nashville, the Saints are keeping Ryan Tannehill and the Titans in check. Tannehill not even throwing for 100 yards as the Saints are up in this one 21-17. Here in Dallas, in a shocker, the Falcons are up 17-3 at halftime, with the Cowboys being held to under 100 yards of offense. Can they make a comeback here in the second half? Stay tuned to find out, because we'll be right back. Welcome back to AT&T Stadium, everyone. The Falcons have managed to hold Ezekiel Elliott to just 25 yards on the ground here in the first half. And Dak Prescott in this potent passing attack to just 71 yards through the air. Have the Cowboys made the correct adjustments to make a comeback in this one? Let's find out. Ryan in the shotgun from the 23. Gives off to Bryce Love, and he is out to the 29. Injured on the play, and he is on his way back to the locker room. Let's hope that's not serious, because the Falcons can ill afford being down another halfback. That's a pass over the middle to Ellison. He has the first down out at the 45. Second and 10. Ryan throws complete to Gage past the 50-yard line and into Dallas territory. Williams stopped by Van Der Esch, and that is going to be fourth down Falcons. Hoffrichter on to punt the ball away. Oh, it's a fake and a completed pass downfield to Eric Harris for the first down inside the 25. What a chance taken by the Falcons. Ryan throws over the middle, complete to Gage down to the 11, third and one. Another pass coming up and Ryan is taken down in the backfield. Jalen Smith gets him back at the 25. And Koo comes on for a 42-yard kick, and it is good. Score is 20-3 in favor of the Falcons. Pass by Prescott, complete 
First down just past the 40 yard line for Schultz. The Cowboys are moving it downfield. Prescott gives off to Elliott and up the middle to the 46. Second and five. And Prescott takes it outside to the left and gets tackled. Uh oh, he is injured. No word yet on how he is, so in comes second-year quarterback Ben DiNucci. Hands it off to Elliott, and he's to the 40-yard line. A first down for the Cowboys. Now DiNucci, oh, is sacked. Mingo takes him down, and they have to give up the ball. There you see the numbers on Matt Ryan. So far having a 75% Passing completion rate, not bad. Back to pass, throws the screen pass, and Puka Williams has lots of yardage up the left hand sideline and out of bounds at the 45. Oh, out of the shotgun again. The handoff goes to Williams again, and he's into Dallas territory. Second and four. The handoff to Brian Hill. Powers his way for the first down, and he takes it to the 42. Brian back to pass, completes this to Allison inside the 40-yard line. Five-yard gain on the play. Back to pass again. Allison with the reception to the 30-yard line and a first down. Dallas in a cover two look. The handoff goes to Williams, and he's taken down after a four-yard gain. Ryan back to pass on third and six. Completes it to number six. Down to the 15-yard line on another first down. On second and ten of the shotgun. Pass over the middle to Allison, and he gets to the five and a first down, which makes it first and goal. And Gage on the short completion and runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta, and it is now 27 to three. Who would have ever thought this was going to be a blowout in favor of the Falcons? On third and nine, Danucci passes, and it's bouncing around and finally incomplete. The Dallas offense stays on the field for fourth and nine, passing the ball. It's intercepted. Foye Aluakun takes it all the way back to the 20-yard line. And the Falcons are just ringing up the tally on the scoreboard. And now they're at the 20 yard line, ready to score yet again. Ryan in the shotgun, hands it off. Williams takes it to the left, has lots of room and all the way down to the two yard line and out of bounds. First and goal, Falcons. Ooh, is Williams ever hit? Smith with a huge hit, dropping Williams for a loss. Ryan back to pass all day. Finally gets it out to Williams, and he does not make the end zone. So on fourth and goal, <laughs> they're going for it. And down goes Hill. The Falcons fail on fourth down, and out comes Dak Prescott. Whatever was wrong didn't keep him out for the rest of the game. But out of the shotgun, gets it to Elliott, a first down, and a lot more out past the 25-yard line and out of bounds. I have a feeling it's going to take a lot of those if the Cowboys are going to come back in this one. Out of shotgun, Prescott throws very short to Elliott, and he powers his way all the way out to the 34. Now on third and two from the 35. Prescott flushed out of the pocket and taken down by Brandon 
Copeland. So on fourth and nine, new quarterback. We saw what happened last time. Prescott throws deep and it's incomplete. Broken up by Aluakun and the Falcons take over deep in Dallas territory again. Hill powers his way inside the 25 for a five yard gain. Now Williams takes the ball up the middle and has the first down. Felipe Franks is now your quarterback and he completes this one to Allison inside the 10. So third and one. Pass goes to Williams for the touchdown over the middle. Williams dancing in the end zone and I don't know, maybe that's going to become the Puga dance. With just over four minutes left in the game, third and eight for the Cowboys. The throw complete to Cooper, out past the 35 and a first down. Another pass, this one to Schultz and he takes it for a five yard gain. Prescott with the pass over the middle, completes this one to Michael Gallup. And that is the first time we've called his name today. Back to pass, Prescott throws complete to Schultz. And he's throwing a lot of things short and he has to get the ball down the field. If the Cowboys are gonna have any chance in this one, and he does there and it's incomplete, knocked away by Terrell. Now only a minute and nine seconds left in the game. The handoff goes to Williams, and he has room out past the 20 yard line, and he also stays in bounds. Nice heads up play. 21 seconds left. JV and Hawkins headed let right, and he, he has the first down, stays in bounds. And with 10 seconds left, that should be it, and it is. The Falcons win 34 to three. What on earth is going on here? I would never be in favor of the Falcons losing a football game, but what's going on since the change in offensive and defensive coordinators has to be one of the biggest turnarounds that I've seen in recent years. I understand that the Cowboys and Saints aren't the strongest teams in the league, but what happened today here in Dallas is just a kind of a head scratcher. I know that Prescott missing part of the game didn't help the Cowboy cause any, but holding Zeke to just 44 yards on the ground has to be the envy of any defense in the NFL. Matt Ryan had by far the best day of this 2021 campaign. 241 yards, three touchdowns, and get this, zero interceptions. They were doing so well that they let Felipe Franks come in midway through the fourth quarter. I really didn't see that happening at all this season, eh, unless Ryan got hurt, of course. Even the rushing game produced over 100 yards, and that was a little more shocking to me than the success of the passing attack. The defense, though, really stole the show today. I know that the Dallas D had the advantage in sheer number of tackles, but I would suspect that was because they were on the field for the lion's share of the game. Foye Aluakun is turning out to be a real beast in the middle of the field. Not only was he the tackle leader for the Falcons, if an opposing quarterback isn't concerned about throwing the ball in the middle of the field, he hasn't really done enough homework. A lot of attention is being given to younger talent on this Falcon squad that's in a rebuilding phase, and I completely understand that. But if you take a look at the performance of some of the aging guys on this squad, like Eric Harris and Fabian Moreau, who just seem to be getting better week after week, 
I think if they get coached to work in the right direction, we could see more of what happened here today. Atlanta will get the chance to prove themselves again, but this time with a short week to prepare and the New England Patriots invading Mercedes-Benz Stadium. There are a lot of similarities between these two teams, and while the Patriots are trying to find a rhythm under the leadership of Cam Newton, it'll be a test to see if the Atlanta defense can come up with a good game plan that could take advantage of that lack of rhythm. The pass defense is going to be terribly difficult for Matt Ryan to take advantage of since they have an excellent pass defense headlined by Stephon Gilmore and Devin McCourty. Ryan would do well to stay away from Gilmore's side of the field. (laughs) If not, he could be disappointed in the outcome. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Atlanta dominated again this week and really got a fairly balanced attack with the offense really putting up some good-looking numbers today. Will they be able to do the same against the Patriots team that's struggling to keep their record from falling below the 500 mark? Can Ryan play another game without throwing a single interception? Can the defense stop a very strong running game behind Sony Michelle and James White? Be with us next week to find out, and until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>